I'm Dr. Mohammed Han Rashid, consultant intervention cardiologist and electrophysiologist at Apollo Hospitals, Bangalore. There's a procedure called electrophysiology study and radio frequency ablation. This is a very common uh, test where, wherein we take in a patient who comes with palpitation, that is, in, he will feel his own heartbeat increase to a level wherein the heart goes beyond 120, 130, 140. So the patient complains with palpitation, discomfort in the heart, uh, some kind of a syncope where the patient tends to lose his consciousness, giddiness. These are the very symptoms where we treat uh, with. Uh, Layers, unique uh, study called electrophysiology study where we study the electrical system of the heart in uh, say under 30 minutes here we take uh, we do this procedure under local anesthesia where we puncture the vein the femoral vein and put a catheter which is again painless after the local anesthesia then we introduce wires into the heart and study the uh, electrical conduction in form in the computer which we control manually we study the various uh, parameters from this uh, SA node the AV node and the bundle of his which forms the electrical wiring of the heart so whatever what happens is after uh, the study we try to induce the kind of a palpitation which the patient suffers during his uh, clinical stuff so we will be talking or talking to the patient and asking him various questions is this the way you get the palpitation or is this the way you feel once we try to induce the tachycardia in the lab so once we find out the tachycardia we study we analyze the tachycardia as to where is it coming from and how is it the tachycardia whether it is a supraventricular tachycardia or is it the ventricular tachycardia based on the various uh, clinical parameters we judge whether it is when supraventricular tachycardia which is a AV node re-entry tachycardia or AV re-entry tachycardia. Based on this, then in the similar uh, vein, we take a, another specialized uh, catheter called the radio frequency ablation catheter, where we take it again to the spot where there is the electrical short circuit happening or it, there is an extra wire which usually uh, should not conduct uh, electrical system during the heart pumping, but it's due to various conditions starts uh, conducting. So we take the catheter there based on the fluoroscopic images and the ECG uh, 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 markings. We take the catheter to that position and uh, deliver radio fre uh, frequency heat energy, which is again painless. Within say uh, 10 to 20 seconds, the, uh, the uh, wiring is like cut. So this usually happens even in uh, household uh, wiring connections where if we cut a wiring then the connection to the light does not operate meaning if you on the switch once the wire is cut there is no supply to the light and the light doesn't glow similarly here what we is do is we disconnect the uh, extra wire or the short circuit which is happening and uh, there is no further uh, tachycardia or palpitation in the future so mostly this is around most 95 to 96 percent of uh, cure rate is there with the least amount more than uh, even a less than one percent side effects or any complications.